Welcome to Great Basin National Park. Right now we are standing in a grove of 4,000-year-old bristlecone pine trees. Great Basin bristlecone pines inhabit the limestone talus slopes throughout the Great Basin, and here, in the quartzite cirque between Wheeler and Jefferson Davis Peaks. The limestone, as well as this quartzite, date to the Cambrian period, approximately 550 million years ago. But we often forget that these trees, like these sites, are both ancient and modern. Like many bristlecone groves, we are standing at about 10,000 feet above sea level. A lack of soil means extremely slow growth, as well as being subjected to subtle changes in the environment over time. Some years, that growth is so slow that rings do not even form. This environment may seem harsh, but it is exactly these conditions that lead to the longevity of these trees. Fires, diseases, and plagues do not normally reach this altitude. When they do occur, the affected area dies off, letting the rest of the tree continue living. The dense bristlecone wood prevents it from rot, allowing these trees to live for thousands of years and remain standing for thousands more after they die. At the tops of ridges throughout the Great Basin, bristlecone roots cling tenaciously to life as the mountain erodes beneath, defining the position of tree line. High winds blasting sand, snow, and ice give many of these bristle cones a defining windswept appearance. We have not always appreciated bristle cones for their age, for their strength, their beauty. It was not even until the mid-1950s that we became aware of how ancient these trees actually are. Realizing that their responses to the elements throughout their lives could help teach us about changes in the environment in the past and prepare us for changes in the future. Until that time, these trees were cut down to be used to make charcoal, to build cabins, and even to be used for Christmas trees. It is not that these trees have changed. We have changed. Our ideas of them and what they represent has changed. We often see bristlecone pines as something of the past, but they live in the same modern world that we do. More than that though, they transcend the centuries. Like this national park which houses them, Bristlecone pines are not just here for us today, they are here for two million tomorrows, showing our great, great, great grandchildren that places like this are special. And even as other forces erode the earth from beneath and take the water from below them, even as changes in the environment push these places to the edge of existence, they are worth holding on to.